I'm going to demonstrate how to create a input file to fire a linear perturbation response spectrum analysis or a random vibration analysis or a harmonic analysis. Uh, the recommended procedure is to submit this job through ANSYS Remote Solve Manager but when the situation doesn't permit then we can combine all the input files from three different systems into a single input file that can be fired on an HPC server. Assume that the static model and the response spectrum analysis setup as required. I'm just going to write out the input files for each of these analysis. For this purpose, I'm going to put all the input files in the project directory user files uh, location. First, I'm going to write out um, the input file at this location for static. Then I'm going to write the input file for model. Then for response spectrum. I call this as RSA. Now all these three files are here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create one new file called combined dot dat or INP. Let's say dat. Okay, this is going to be my combined dot dat. First, I'm going to take my static, let's say view um, vertical. First, I'm going to copy the entire static analysis file here and put it on the new stuff. Since I'm going to submit this on APDL server, certain things are really not required. It's always good to uh, start with uh, everything, let it go well. These are all uh, related to the workbench project. We won't be using it. When we come towards the end, um, this is about the solver file. Um, we can delete everything below this solver file. After this, say um, finish finish then let's copy the file dot rst comma comma let's say static dot rst so it means that the file dot rst will be taken a copy and renamed as static dot rst for our feature reference having this done then next let's open um, model dot dat in this model dot dat let's say um, we can just put end of static analysis then say start of model analysis so in this one the first thing we need to do is that we need to um, we need to do a model restart for that purpose we are going to rename the restart file into file.rst then these are all um, related to where the static analysis solution files are available uh, when we solve this in workbench by default but now we are not doing by default so these are all really not required I'm, I'm copying up to here Okay, so we are starting from, uh, we are going to do a linear perturbation model analysis from here. Then all these things will go here. Then we are solving it. After this, the same thing we are going to do here. Um, we are going to, again, copy the file.rst as model.rst. Okay, then here we can say, the end of 
model analysis. Then we can write start of or is a response spectrum analysis. For this, I'm going to open the the RSA dot dat. This by default Workbench what it is going to do, it will open the file dot db that is saved during the model analysis. Here, if we come here, after solving the model analysis, we will save it will open that. But here we don't need that because we are going to combine all the three analysis in a in a one particular location. So let's let's go back to a RSA here, and we have to say, um, okay, I'm just copying that. Then it's all going here. Mm, yeah, this is where it starts. Start from the solution and copy till the end. Till this point, uh, file dot mcom. Yeah, it does all the thing, all the thing. Uh, yes, still res file. Okay, till that point, we have to copy everything here. Oops. Copy, then paste it here. Okay. Now, having done this. Here is an important point. Um, it is going to refer the model analysis directory while doing the response spectrum analysis. Okay, this is required if the model analysis is solved in a different directory. But in this case, we are going to solve everything in a single directory. So we really don't um, need this this particular stuff because all the files are going to be in the same directory. Then after that we can say once this is done we can say this again copy this file dot rst as spectrum uh, spectrum dot rst okay now we are ready with one single um, combined file let's try to um, fire this run somewhere for that purpose, I'm, I'm just going to create a, a dummy directory here. Uh, this is a combined run. Okay, I'm, I'm going to launch one uh, mechanical APDL solver. I'm going to set this as my working directory. I will copy this combined file inside this combined run. I'm going to set this as a batch run. Uh, probably if you are using any of your job submitter to submit the job on your cluster, um, you can imagine this is something similar to that. Um, so my working directory is going to be this directory and the file input file is combined.dat and the file dot out um, if required you can request um, include the input file in the output otherwise you can leave this um, you can fire this run uh, as the solution progress it is going to solve all the stuffs in this particular directory it will produce all necessary files so I think the the run is over so it produced uh, static dot rst uh, spectrum i think i think we we did some small mistake here it should not be dot rst it should be comma rst okay uh, that's that's a mistake model comma rst here also it should be rst okay then all these files are going to become like dot rst this one is dot rst and this one is dot rst and let's look at file dot out um, this is going to contain all the information this is the input file so what it is done is first it has solved the uh, static analysis 
um, it copied the file dot rst then it's going and it's doing a, a model analysis here then it copied uh, the the model dot file dot rst as model dot rst then it's going and performing the response spectrum analysis then after that um, it's going to combine all the mode shape based on the SRSS stuff like that then it writes the results into the combined result into file.rst finally what we are going to do is that we are going to copy that file.rst and rename that as um, response spectrum dot rst now having all this done uh, now what we need to do is uh, we need these three rst files we i'm going to copy this one by one first let me take a static dot rst um, i'm coming out because when i am reading in 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 that particular file it's always good to have only one rst in this file we have more than one rst this is something is really not preferable keep this file in a, in a location a folder where there is only one rst is present okay? now if we go to this server directory folder um, there are dat files only nothing else is there or it can be empty as well now what i'm going to do is i'm i'm going to read read this file okay um, the use this static dot rst from from this location uh, let me but i'll show you both the stuff um, this is for user files um, this is the static analysis folder and this is our user files folder i'm going to read the static dot rst now it's highlight solution tools uh, read result file and go and read the static dot rst make sure the unit is correctly set um, when we are doing this what it is going to uh, do is let us bring both the files back so it has read this um, static dot rst this is 1152 it copied this file and renamed as file dot rst and put it inside the meg folder automatically okay it is same 1152 1152 you can now we can go and look at this result same way let's come back here um, this file is no more needed i'm, I'm deleting this static dot rst i'm going back inside the combined folder and i'm going to now copy the the model dot rst and pasting it here i'm going to read this file okay again i will uh, show you here uh, as you can see here there is no um, RST file once I read this read result file yeah I have a model that RST I'm reading this file set the appropriate unit system then it's going to read that if, if you go back and look at this file and obviously this file is copied inside okay which is having 4224 4224 this model.rst is copied inside the model analysis folder and renamed as file.rst then the next step is to read the response spectrum rst again delete this model.rst go back to the combined run folder where we have all the rsts spectrum.rst come back here paste it here now again come and read this file tools read results spectrum.rst okay now what we can see is that it has read the the spectrum.rst file and we can go and post process the results now having this done if you don't need the files now we can delete this file now if we go back um, to these folders so this is for um, static rst is there and this is for uh, model rst is there and this is for 
response spectrum and RST is there. All the RSTs are there. If you don't need any of the other files for your feature reference, you can go and delete this combined run folder where it ran all the files. And in fact, even um, you can copy back, you can keep this for your feature reference. You can delete this entire folder okay, where we have um, run this stuff. So before we deleting, I think I need to close this stuff and it's asking me to delete. Okay, that, that, that probably you can, you can take care of this. I just demonstrated the, the procedure to um, how we can generate three input files uh, from, from workbench and combine it as a single folder and it's very important that after um, I'll just show you slash copy yeah this is important uh, if you want to retrieve the the static model results otherwise after every solve the file dot rst will get overwritten okay um, so after solve command give finish then copy it should be comma okay not dot rst as I explained earlier then the model restart and the model solution again after model solve copy the file dot rst as model dot rst then um, copy the necessary information make sure you command this model directory command it is very important otherwise we end up some kind of error then copy everything till um, the res write from the uh, rsa uh, input file that we generated Again, finally, copy this file.rst as a spectrum.rst and we can read this file. This is the procedure that we can follow for a, a response spectrum analysis or random vibration analysis or for a model harmonic analysis. In fact, for um, any analysis which contains the linked system. Thank you.